All right, to help you with shifting confidence, I want to introduce you to bullseye practice, or what some people call target practice. Instead of concentrating on the path to a new position, how to get there, let's focus on what that new position actually feels like and how well you know it. Bullseye practice is about finding notes without actually shifting on the string. Okay, so here's how it works. You start by taking a pitch, uh, maybe high up on the fingerboard, something you're later gonna be aiming for. Um, and you, any way you can, just find yourself up there and try to feel the pitch. So I'm looking for that G, okay? I'm gonna start just by playing it and feeling it. You can close your eyes. You can vibrate, you can do whatever you do, just kind of feel good. And what you're trying to do is get in touch with your proprioception. What does everything feel like? What's this angle? What's that angle? What's the angle of the fingers? How close is your hand to your face? All of those things. Don't overanalyze it. Just make sure that you're really feeling it. And then you're going to start practicing from nowhere, which for me means hands down off the instrument. And I just see if I can get to that pitch from nowhere. It often doesn't work out like that. Just want to point that out. Okay, today must be a good day. But I'm going to keep doing that because that's allowing me to feel confident in that. Then I'm going to start um, getting to that pitch from anywhere, but without shifting, without traveling on the string. I know this goes against what you're usually taught, but just bear with me for this exercise. So, random pitches. And I'm hopping, right? I'm trying to make myself hop, not shift on the string. Etc. Etc. You can come from the top of the fingerboard too. That's harder, right? Anything to put that to the test. Then you're going to start putting it in context, which for this is actually coming from a little clip from Sasson Violin Concerto. The note right before it is a B. Okay, so now I'm starting to line that up, but I'm not worried about how far it is. I'm just worried about what it feels like. And then finally you put it into the context of the whole measure, which sounds like this. Bullseye practice is great for when you need that extra confidence. Definitely for big leaps I would do it. Um, some positions that maybe you're less comfortable with, maybe fourth. Um, for me, it's actually on the G string, fifth position. I don't know, I feel less confident, so I do it a lot for that. It's great for your sight reading. And it really gets you to understand that it doesn't matter sometimes where you're coming from. It's not about measuring the distance. It really is about knowing your fiddle and knowing what it feels like and knowing that you can jump around and get from pitch to pitch.